important to understand that world that you're, that you're doing is creating. Okay, so please, yes, digest the writing materials at least, but also take, take some time. I don't care. When you wake up in the morning, drink your coffee before bed and lunch, watch. So, I am asked by Curry Hive, Sandy Summers, and Corey Lee to reflect on what my experience was like. The community stories. I did a short documentary and it's made me really want to keep going. As I sit here as a first time filmmaker, I'm emotional. I'm emotional to share the art that I have within me. And uh, I really hope that you like it. Why are community stories important? Because if we don't uplift the people in our community, who's going to? We have to think about this, guys, for our future. We have to think about it for when people scroll across Facebook and what do they see? And what's the narrative that we're putting out for ourselves? I want people to know the Calgary and Alberta and even BC. We got the kick, kick, but um, production teams, artists, actors that. Uh, have big dreams that are doing well here and we're really excited to share that and that's the whole point of trying to inspire others is you have to share that and then there's a whole art behind it and I am just learning. Record getting behind the scenes okay so we just finished Barb's first outfit we're stepping into Joe doing a headshot and a three-quarter and then this is what we got so far so far. Oh, do you like? Yeah. She's goddess. Like, oh my goodness this. gracious. Oh. Yeah. And I love <laughs> I this. Isn't that great? Me. You guys. Oh, yeah, well, thank so you. Good. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie doing makeup and grooming. Our last cover star supporting. Hi Joe, how are you? Thank you for being here. Well, thanks for inviting me. I don't even think it was an email, but yeah, I'd gotten an email, but uh, I'd gotten a voicemail from Sandy Summers. Of all people, can you imagine? How many people that are even watching this can say they got a call from Sandy Summers? You know, the people who are part of the project, yes, but the people watching, um, they want to know who Sandy is, you know, and I've got to know that Sandy is a true professional. Um, she's really made me feel great throughout the experience of making my project. Um, at first, the first violent cut was not good, <laughs> but uh, I'm really happy that, you know, she seems to like the story choice and the subject, and she likes that I've been doing it for a while, and I wanted to get serious and put it to, um, put it to uh, the test, and she really did, you know, she gave me, like, a grace period, even, she said, you know, if you can't achieve it, you know, I would, she wouldn't judge me or anything, and that made me feel really secure, too, because I didn't know if I could achieve putting together a project for TELUS or CSIF or, you know, even for myself, um, by myself, for real, even editing it. Um, I get advice from other people, but, um, yeah, I was, uh, I had to do it by myself and maybe that's a good thing because, uh, for me, my life, um, it really helped me get to the next step, I think, mentally thinking, yeah, this is what I want to do. A filmmaker. So how I felt, I guess, about it, um, I, you know, have been emotional throughout it. I've cried, um, I've laughed, I've been worried I can't achieve it. Um, I think all those things rushed me when I heard about the opportunity and I said to myself, no, I, maybe there are people out there that are going to roll their eyes that I'm doing this but I feel kind of like, no, it's organic. I've been doing this for a long time. And for me to put people out professionally 
only makes it that I'm happy that I can do that for them. I'm here with Meg. I want it to grow for everybody. Um, the connection, the network that I have behind me, even with CBC, with other amazing people as well, giving me that chance, like Sandy and Corey, and all the team behind it that chose to take their time to uh, teach us how to do what they do for absolutely free. So it's a program that uh, oh, I will never forget, and I hope I can do more. I'm actually um, doing the podcast uh, learning in, in April how to you know do a better job of um, doing the podcast I already have as well with I'm Here With Brand that I've created. Here we are with I'm Here With Christine and Jill Maria with mega superstar Canadian comedian, actor, writer, and this hour has 22 minutes star. He has been working since 2015 as a regular host on the show and started as a writer. So, you know, we've learned a lot from Mark. We've seen him in Calgary before and we've done a photo shoot with Catherine Kalnan. What is the best part of the program? being selected (laughs) um the feeling that somebody's listening and watching and wanted to give me a chance and give everyone else in the group a chance uh there's some real dolls and sweethearts that i've seen i haven't really got to reach out with anybody it's been quite a journey of my own to even achieve this uh so yeah um the best part is meeting people through it and the connection that I build by doing the series. Um, We have multiple artists part of it, and uh, each person who is a part of it is important to me and willing and wanted to work with me. And uh, we'll see who I get to tell uh, the story down the road. I'm really looking forward to having my eye here with spin with how I do my interviews and me interviewing them behind the scenes. biggest challenge for me making this documentary the dreamers you guys is um (sighs) maybe people's willingness and ableness to shoot wanting to be vulnerable um scheduling as well right from the beginning um i had uh, issues with that and uh to be honest yeah i stayed within the confines of where i was even though i was moving uh, to be able to stay and be able to shoot the project. But um, I had to follow the artist, actually, that um, was the subject at first, uh, all the way to BC, in order to film their true life. What have I learned about myself from doing this project? That I'm a lot stronger than I am, and if I want to achieve something, I will. (laughs) You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just go with the punches and research it myself. Having the community story hive behind me to tell me the truth about what makes a good film and how to do it at a alarming, quickly rate. It's pretty crazy that they took three months, as long as we did, to help us. So as much as it's my project, uh, the guidance of them is uh, there with me too. So thank you everybody who helped me. Um, I'm Jill Robinson and I made a project about people who are dreamers because you guys, I'm a dreamer. And I want everybody to achieve my dream too. I'm gonna give my hand at making a real project. So, guys, please enjoy the journey of somebody like me, an expectant and uh, a novice, but very interested in video. I have a calling for making films. So, 
It was supposed to be. That's why we were fighting. Because before George got on the plane, it was already... What is Community Stories? Well, wherever you are, you have a community. Wherever I am, I have a boat. <laughs> Each community that I enter, even if it's in the city or Alberta, to do acting or to film or be a publicist, it all comes down to where is it where I am and where is my heart? And I like to tell stories about the people that are around me. And my community is Alberta, Calgary. And I've been a part of the scene here for, uh, I'd like to say about nine years, but I might be sounding a little bit old. Um, I feel really excited to share my experience for other people who are thinking about entering to learn from Sandy and Corey. Um, it's almost emotional because it's very surprising that I even got chosen. So I'm really excited and glad to be able to share my experience, but my experiences are my experiences. Um, I didn't have too many people helping me out, unfortunately. That's just how it was. It's during COVID time. I understand uh, everybody's reasons in life, you know, when they have a dream. They all have their own dream that they're trying to achieve. Uh, my dreams have always been put aside to help others, but I've always wanted to be a filmmaker because I have a few stories in my head that I'd like to share with others in the way I like to share it. Um, I think I bring something different to the table. I'm new, obviously, so my technical skills are not there. But the experience of being a part of this group uh, learning directly from some of the heads and top production companies in Calgary and Alberta. Um, learning about uh, BC's network as well from the Story Hive site. I'm really proud to see everyone who's part of it and to be part of it. Guys, so today is the day that I'm actually filming my first segment. So, you know, throughout the roads of uh, creating this project, you guys, I've had three different people that I really wanted to um, interview right off the bat. And uh, 